Hi everyone, my name is Heather and I'm the person behind Happy Puppy Truffles. I wanted to kind of tell you guys a little bit about what Halloween is like in Japan. Um, I've been living in Japan so most 20 years now and um, when I first moved here there was no uh, real recognition of the holiday of Halloween. Um, it obviously is on the calendar but no one really did anything. It was really hard to find decorations. Um, it was just not anything that people here recognized at all. And um, basically over the years that slowly started to change and I think the big thing that kind of pushed it in the direction of getting people to notice was uh, the Nightmare Before Christmas which was really really popular here and when uh, that movie kind of took a hold of everyone people started to kind of look more into what Halloween was and you started noticing more promotional items kind of leaning towards it and um, then it sort of really just kind of exploded and took over and um, just really in the most recent years I've noticed a lot more um, things that are geared towards celebrating Halloween. Now there's always been, you know, since that time there was slowly a changing influx of decorations, especially at places like Daiso and department stores where you could get some things, but nothing to the scale that we're used to in the United States. Um, you know, you're talking about maybe finding a couple of streamers that have little bats on them and uh, maybe one design of paper plates that have uh, pumpkins on them. So it's not anywhere near what you can, you know, we have party cities and things like that in the States, so people can really go crazy and decorate and have, you know, haunted houses and cool spooky things and decorations everywhere. It's not like that at all. So you really have to kind of search for things, but you can find them. And it's gotten to a point now where there's definitely a lot more than there used to be. And now it's just a huge marketing thing. And so all these snacks are geared towards it and um, toilet paper. I don't know why people think that's like cool. The other thing that I always thought was funny is that um, you know those like glade scents that you put in your house to make your house smell good they they loved grasping hold of this Halloween idea for some reason and they really pushed this uh, candy scented sort of um, thing that you could put out at this time of year so that was one of the first things I actually saw that actually said Halloween on it um, was this weird scented thing that you put in your house it was kind of funny but there's really not that many you know decor you know Halloween um, costumes like we might be used to in the States and people going full out and having these really elaborate cool costumes and funny pun sort of based kinds of costumes that wouldn't go over here very much at all really so actually we wound up going to Disneyland without meaning to on the day when they let people dress up for Halloween which was really cool so we got to see a lot of people wearing you know Disney official kind of costumes and some of those are really cool and really elaborate but um, not really as much as um, we we see in the States so if you're here visiting or if you're a military family and you're living here you might notice that there's not nearly as much as there use you might be used to in the States now speaking of military and America and things like that uh, it's funny because a lot of the focus of the holiday is English so towns that do decide to have a Halloween celebration really push it about it being about learning English, speaking English, let's try English and um, kind of you know really push that part of it which I think is kind of funny. Um, so whenever there is some sort of celebration in a town for Halloween it's always kind of backed by the local um, English school and um, <laughs> which is kind of weird um, and so they kind of do that but you know um, and you, you can find places where they do have like a little Halloween party where kids can can come and wear their costumes and walk around and they might get a little a little bag of treats at one point during the trip and it's not trick-or-treating where you go from one place to another and get something but it is sort of kind of getting to the idea of it all um, I don't know if it'll ever catch to the idea of what I knew when I was a kid of trick-or-treating I don't even think people trick-or-treat like that anymore in the States I don't know I know some people do some people don't some people go to shopping malls so when we lived in the States for a while that's what we did with our daughter um, you know it depends on where you live and and how things are in that area but 
um, it's kind of neat to see how different cultures adapt and what they take hold of and what they choose to put into their own culture um, and make their own. So um, having lived here so long, I've gotten a chance to kind of see things sort of change and that was kind of cool. So um, yeah, but if you guys have any, you know, Halloween related questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer them for you guys. Uh, I know it can be hard, especially if you're moving out here and you have children or you plan on having children at some point. Um, you want to know about those kinds of things. These holiday related things those are important when you are living in another country. You want to still keep the culture of the other place that you're originally from alive in your household. So uh, when you move to new countries, I know that's always the first question, you know, will I still be able to have access to this or this or this? So any questions you guys might have, please feel free to put them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer them. And uh, yeah, we'll have some other things to share with you guys in the days to come as well. So uh, I hope you guys all have a safe and happy Halloween and I will see you all next time. Bye.